Nice one, man. 13, 14. How did that feel out there? Not as good as I was hoping, honestly. Um, hit you the first few laps. I don't know how many people they put in that field, but I think I probably ran the first 1200 in, in lane two at least, just trying to get a spot on the rail. Um, which made the first few laps go by quick, but yeah, never never really settled into the pace. Like, felt, felt really fit, just the 62 points just felt just a, a, a hair away, unfortunately. Um, had a, had a decent last lap, but yeah, would have, would have been nice to to get under, I don't know, 10 seconds faster probably would have been good. And I, and I think possible, but not, not to be. But you felt, you felt good out there, like, do you think, like, more, just another race, another perfect condition? Like, I suppose all of, a lot of the time, too, it's just down to that, that right moment, that right race. Yeah, I mean, say that, but... I think at some point, if you're at the top level, um, you know, you got to be able to perform any any day of the week. Um, you know, you don't know. You can't wait for you can't wait for the right day and um, and everything to line up necessarily. You know, there's something going to happen. What like what 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 shape? Like if you if you got that kind of smoother race, what would you like to feel you could run for a 5k? I just I mean, I think 13 close to 30 minutes is is super realistic. Um, you know, this is the first year I've been able to do um, VO2 sessions with with Clicker, and um, like that's kind of where I've where I've struggled in in the past years. Like last year and maybe the year before, I could do a lot of the stuff, but maybe not some of the bigger VO2 sessions. But this year they've been absolutely no problem. So you know, it hasn't been a, a workout I haven't been able to do with him. Doesn't mean I think I'm in in Clicker shape. Just he has years of of running a lot um, more than me and. So he's showing you can you can get under 30 minutes, um, you know, on on a, any given day at the moment, which is which is epic. But yeah, I'd love to think that closer to 30 minutes is is definitely doable. I suppose when you're when you're training like people like Joe and he's running like what he is, I suppose it's hard not to kind of look at somebody else beside you and see what they're doing. But I suppose everyone progresses and you know progresses at their own pace and times come. Like you said, you, VO2 sessions are better this year than they were last year. So more races, more sessions, another year. Like you know, it it, you, it, it will come together. Yeah, exactly. I mean, no, no one responds, you know, the exact same to training, but um, have a lot of confidence doing a lot of uh, a lot of sessions with Joe. And um, yeah, just keep at it and and uh, keep keep giving it a go. How important, like you know, your group right now is running so well. How much of it is down to just like you as a team and being out there working together each day? Yeah, I think a lot of it. Um, you know, there's very there's very little that that we don't do together as a team. Uh, you know, we're meeting meeting six days a week, and you know, maybe at the moment we're we're separating a little bit on, on workout days with the guys running running the 15 and then uh, Joe and Jonas and I uh, doing a bit doing a bit of longer stuff but yeah I think I think it's hugely beneficial for, for everyone on the team and um, yeah I think a big part of our success for sure. Do you think you'll have another crack at a 5k this season? Hard to know. Might have been the only one. We'll see. Yeah, yeah it must be because like you've got this like range of like different attributes. You've got the you've got the steeper, but you also have that strength, and then you've got the speed. Do you find it hard to kind of like figure out like which one you want to kind of fully commit to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very difficult. Um, I mean, it's a good problem to have, but yeah, it's definitely a split. Bit of a split on the team. You know, there's three guys running the 1500 kind of workouts, and it's it's pretty obvious. And then. You know, Jonas, Morgan, and Joe are pretty pretty set on running five and ten, and then you know, I, on any given day, I can do, I can just do either workout, but it's hard to know which one I, which one I really should be doing. Um, still trying to figure it out. And what race are you thinking of next? <laughs> back to drawing board, Charles Ritz. Yeah, Perfect. see, maybe one more in Europe. Otherwise, head back to the US and uh, get ready for the rest of the summer. And so, will you? Will you? Will you? Train in, 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 we'll say, Sam Ritz for a bit more, or will you look to go back to Flagstaff? Uh, back to Boulder. Oh, sorry, a, sorry, Boulder, man, yeah. <laughs> back to Boulder for a, a month or six weeks, and then up to Sam Ritz before Budapest is the plan. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, but look, man, awesome race, and like it'll keep coming. Uh, it's, it's, it's cool seeing you out there, yeah. and like, you know, you have that turnover at the end, get those few smoother first laps, and, and it'll come for you. Appreciate it. Brilliant. Well done, George. Cheers, man.